we're going to repair these damaged boards with Bondo. I'd recommend replacing the boards, but we need a temporary fix, so I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to start by removing the loose wood with a claw of a hammer. We're going to strive to remove the old existing paint as well. This wood is dry rotted and it's rotted from water. It rained here a few days ago, so we're going to make sure that it dries completely before we apply the Bondo filler. When we apply the Bondo, we want to make sure that we make the right mixture. We don't want the catalyst to be too much because then it'll dry too quickly in the sun and we won't be able to work it in properly. Now that I removed most of the damaged wood, you can see right here that it's totally busted away. If I put the Bondo on there, it's just going to fall out. I have a friend who's a body shop expert. His name's Harry Fisher, and he showed me this trick. Get yourself some Gorilla Tape and making sure that there's no dust and debris. Just squeeze it up right under here at the bottom. Get a nice firm flat base and then twist it up to form a 90 degree angle. That'll hold it in place when you pour in the Bondo and work it in there. We have our A part and B part mixture of Bondo and the Red Catalyst. It's kind of hard to shoot a video with a phone. Hey, we really like producing these videos for you. Hey, we also have a company called videotransfercompany.com. We transfer everything media. Tell you more about that later. And when we start putting this stuff inside the damaged area, I'm gonna work it in with this tool and kind of with my fingers. Should be wearing plastic gloves. And we're gonna apply it and build it in layers. But we're gonna make sure that it dries or at least sets up between applications. We've actually done two applications so far and it's starting to firm up nicely. You can see it's holding here and here. And soon after the third application, I'll pull away the tape. It should hold to the wood. You can see how easy the tape's coming off. I'm making sure that I don't rip the Bondo that may not be completely dried. You can do this. Well, it's almost hard. Just take your time. You can check it out. You can see how there's an edge there now. And when we sand this, it should match the contour and look of the existing wood. We're gonna start sanding this with some 60 grit paper. I actually should have used a harder grit like 40 grit and then worked my way to 60 and then 80. I'm at my daughter's house and fixing her deck and she didn't have anything sturdier than 60 grit, so it'll have to do. Here's the sanded finish. It looks pretty good. It's smooth. We should have replaced the boards, but it is what it is and it looks pretty good. This repair could actually outlast the existing wood. We've sanded this, we wiped it off. Soon we'll add a primer and then we'll use the bare deck over. Of course, we're gonna follow directions. Here's the primer. Make sure it's a wood-based primer that will also work with auto body filler so you don't get a chemical reaction. Also, I wanna make sure that it's not too hot in the sun. Man, if these boards heat up and you're putting Bondo on or paint, it's gonna dry too quickly and it will peel off later. You can see this consistency of the deck over paint. It's good paint. So we put the primer on in three light coats and we're not going to redo this whole deck now. We'll do it at a later date. Right now what we're after is just to fix the damage and blend it in the existing deck. And we're gonna work it into the cracks with the brush. Move it in left and right and up and down, filling up the cracks completely, and then we'll smooth it out. 
Remember, make sure that your primer's dry before you start applying a top coat of another paint. Always read the labels. Make sure you don't get chemical reactions. So here's the reveal. The Bondo and the deck over really did a great job using the Gorilla Tape on the edge, held it together, gave me a nice square edge. And where's the damage? Can't see the damage. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. In addition to making how-to videos like the one you just saw, we own this company called VideotransferCompany.com. We've been in business 33 years producing videos and restoring videos. In fact, we transfer and restore everything media from videotape, film, audio reels, photographs, you name it, we could restore it and transfer it to DVD, or we could transfer it to some type of digital form. Just give us a call, 856-694-4000. Or you can email me, tommy at tommyproductions.com.